we have defined two techniques for sequence alignment. One was global approaches, the other one was local based approaches. Now, based on these techniques, we will see what are different approaches that are available to do sequence alignment. Roughly speaking, there are three approaches, which are dot matrix based approaches, the other one is dynamic programming, and the third one is word based methods. इस मॉड्यूल में हम ये देखेंगे कि डॉट मैट्रिक्स बेस्ड अप्रोचेस क्या होते हैं और वो सीक्वेंस अलाइनमेंट के लिए कैसे यूजफुल हैं। डॉट प्लॉट मैट्रिक्स अप्रोच बेसिकली इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल अप्रोच हाउ इट इज वेरी सिंपल बिकॉज इट कैन बी सीन विजुअली ये एक ऐसी टेक्निक है जो विजुअल अलाइनमेंट की टेक्निक है जिसको हम विजुअली ग्राफ्स की मदद से देख सकते हैं इसमें होता क्या है आइडिया बेसिकली ये है कि टू सीक्वेंसिस आर पुट इन साइड अ ग्राफ हाउ One sequence is put along the x-axis and the other one is put along the y-axis. Then what happens? We have now both the sequences on two coordinates, and then we see that if they are common, then we put dot at their corresponding position. So what would be graph look like? That there is x-direction, y-direction, and then common points will appear inside the graph. What is there on the rows and what is there in the column? Rows contain characters in the first sequence and columns contain characters in the second sequence. What is the procedure? Again, first we make a graph in which there is rows and columns. Rows for first characters, for first characters of the first sequence, and the columns for characters for the second sequence. Then there are different dots where there is an exact match between both of these characters. Now what happens if there is any level of similarity that there is a similarity between two sequences then it will be available by a row of different dots so it would be very easy to identify where there is similarity between two sequences where insertion is needed where deletion is needed or where there is a mismatch graphically it would look like something which is given in this figure so what is happening here is we have two sequences sequence a and sequence b so sequence a is shown on this side and sequence b is so shown on this side so in both of these sequences if i start from c which is the first character so both have this c in common then if i see that c is also common at this place similarly we have c at this place so we can find out where these sequences are similar to each other and we will just put a dot on these figure ab agar is figure pe hum aur kare to although it looks very useful in certain scenarios it would have some problems also what are those problems so those problems are good appearing in this slide so what is happening here is that because we have only four symbols that are a c t and g so at every fourth position if there are is no comparison or if there is no match again at every fourth position it will be a match by chance also so randomly one out of every four character will match so there will be huge noise in this figure as shown in this figure if i see there are so many matches just as like this this one this one this one this one this one and this one although there were not so much matches between the given sequences so what to do next what we can do here is to remove this thing we can use basically a threshold which will be working that we say that okay if two or more than two symbols match then keep those row otherwise just erase them so if i use this symbol what will happen i will come to the next figure that is something like this that we only have this sort of information and when another useful information from this dot plot says that what we can see from here is that this single this simple and this symbol what is happens is that this similarity measure is shown in the diagonal space only on the diagonal space we can see that there is similarity but again there are some gaps so what are these gaps such as this one so these gaps basically this one or this gap these gaps say that there is a need of some insertion so that both of these uh, sequences become aligned to each other okay finally visual alignment is one technique which is used by uh, making use of dot plot plot pro, uh, matrices अब होता क्या अगर हमारे पास दो सीक्वेंसेस हों और अगर हम उन्हें ब्रूट फोर्स एलग्रिदम के थ्रू सीक्वेंस को अलाइन करना चाहें तो हमें क्या होगा क्या हम उनको यूज़ करते हुए उनको अलाइन कर सकते हैं हाउ मैनी ऑपरेशन विल वी नीड 
यहाँ पर मैंने ये बताया है कि हमारे पास दो सिक्वेंसेज हैं फर्स्ट वन इज एक्स एंड अदर वन इज जेड एक्स कंटेन्स एम एलिमेंट्स और एंड जेड कंटेन्स एन एलिमेंट्स तो इनकी जो टोटल लेंथ होगी दैट वुड बी एम प्लस एन अब क्या होगा कि जो सब सीक्वेंस एक्स है अगर हम उसकी बात करें तो हमारे पास टोटल अलाइनमेंट के जो सीक्वेंसेज बनेंगे वो टू रेस पावर एम प्लस एन होंगे इसी तरह ये नंबर ऑफ सीक्वेंसेज सिमिलर रहेंगे फॉर वाई ऑल्सो तो हमें x और y को अलाइन करने के लिए टोटल नंबर ऑफ सीक्वेंसेस कितने चाहिए होंगे 4 इंटू एम प्लस एन जैसे जैसे सीक्वेंसेस की लेंथ बढ़ती जाएगी तो ये जो पावर है कंप्यूट करना इम्पॉसिबल होता जाएगा इस वजह से ब्रूट फोर्स एलग्रिदम कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर अलाइनिंग टू सीक्वेंसेस। अब इनको कैसे सॉल्व किया जाए अब हम यही चीज़ें फोकस करेंगे कि इनके लिए कौन से डिफरेंट मैकेनिज्म अवेलेबल हैं 